The fourth quarter of the NFC Championship game embodied the entire 87-year history of Chicago Bears football. They were physically dominant, unstoppable on the ground, and when the elements were at their worst, the Bears were at their best. In celebration of Chicago's first NFC title in 21 years, we present the 2006 Chicago Bears championship chase. Detroit wide receiver Roy Williams guaranteed a Lions victory in week two. Bears linebacker Brian Erlacher suggested otherwise. Chicago dismantled Detroit's offense with six sacks and three forced fumbles. Well, it's coming. The Lions pick it up. That was hit from behind. Ball comes loose. The Bears have recovered it inside the five. Where Detroit's offense is failing, Chicago's is succeeding beyond all expectations. The Bears roll with their highest yardage total in almost two years. For the second consecutive week, quarterback Rex Grossman posted career-best numbers, throwing for 289 yards and four touchdowns. First down at 10, Bears. Grossman play action fake. Time in the pocket. Throws. Right side. Wide open. Got a man. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Bernard Berrien. Roy Williams left Soldier Field certain of just one thing. These Bears look better than ever. Minnesota welcomes Chicago with ear-shattering noise. That is the loudest place I think I've ever played, and I've played in some loud stadiums in the SEC, and I don't think it reaches the, the noise level of uh, the Metrodome. In a physical NFC North battle, the hits were ferocious. For three quarters, neither team scored a touchdown. But in the final 15 minutes, the Vikings' defense finally answered the challenge. We're going to play a little Viking ball here. We're going to let the big man rush. We're going to reroute our butt off, OK? We're going to see the ball come out, and we're going to get some picks in the second half, all right? On the first play of the fourth, Jones' blunder resulted in the game's first touchdown. Trouble dumps it right. Intercepted Winfield. Touchdown! To Winfield, that was his bonehead of play by a quarterback, as you can have. I'm thinking, throw the damn ball away, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but, I mean, it, it was. It looked like he probably was trying to throw it away. I was more concerned about not taking the safety and uh, just getting the ball out of my hands rather than making sure uh, no one's out there. And, again, that's something that, you know, I'll learn from and hopefully never do again. Now the question was, how would Grossman respond? I've been on the sideline some games where a play like that is made, everybody kind of drops their head, you know, finger pointing and a lot of anarchy on the sideline. But, you know, when I came off on the sideline, I didn't even say one word to Rex. I mean, I saw the look in his face and he knew exactly what he did. And not only did he know what he did, he knew what he had to do to correct the mistake. All right, we'll get another shot. Yeah. Get another shot. Let's put it in his own, man. Hell yeah. I noticed the Minnesota Vikings were over there hugging each other and, and, and like the game was over with. But I knew then and there that uh, time's not finished till the clock is finished. Keep, hey, they're spreading us out, running the ball. Keep playing hard, play fast. Play hard, play fast. Big plays. We got to get some big plays. 3.31 left in the game, 16-12 Minnesota. They're facing third and eight. Big play right here. Snap to Brad Johnson. Quick hitter to Chester Pedal. Tommy Harris knocked it out. Bears have it. 36-yard line. Agulia. What a play. That's what we've come to expect from our defense. In those type of situations like that, they always come up with a big play. We just expect that. Good job, Tom. It was third and eight. I, I think it was a power you were a trap, but the guard pulled, and the center supposed to collapse me. And I got off fast enough for the center to miss me. Tommy Harris was in the backfield so fast. Just as quickly, Rex Grossman redeemed himself. 
a gutsy completion to Moose and Muhammad on third and eight set Chicago up for the win. We kept coming back on the sideline, telling the offensive coordinator, telling our position coach, hey, you know, we got to run a double move. We got to run a double move. Double post, yeah. We're going to go double D. He kept it in his back pocket until he needed it. 158 left in the game. Vikings 16, Bears 12. Snap to Rex, goes back to throw on five steps. Pocket holds. He winds up. Open that end zone. Touchdown! Rasheed Davis! You know, the whole game we had been running corner routes by the slot guy. And Rasheed had been working this guy. I think it was number 27, Whitaker. He made him think he was going to the corner route, and then he broke it back up the seam, and it was wide open. It was probably the most fun I've ever had playing football. It was crazy. I mean, it's what, such a swing of emotions for me. I mean, I've never been so disappointed and so excited in the same quarter. Had great plays during the game, had terrible plays during the game, and, and to finish with a great play to win the game was really fun. I think when you really realize uh, how big a win it is, is when you get later on in the season, you get close to clinching a division, you get close to getting to that postseason, and you look back and say, man, that was a big win for us because to go into Minnesota, win on the road in that hostile environment, you know, later on down the road, that's going to prove to be a big win for us. Their feet have taken great strides this year as undefeated Chicago has walked all over its opponents. Pound for pound! Man for man! Who's better? Leave it all on the field! One, two, three! Leave it all here! The Chicago defense was all over the field. Castle back to snap, in trouble. A base, rolling to his right. Tommy Harris giving chase. Throws up in the air, tipped up by Ricky Manning Jr. at the 40. Just never saw it. Weber's got a block, 71. Get on his ass! That good group, but ain't nobody got physical with him yet. Ah. Ricky Manning Jr. had two interceptions in the second quarter. Matthew's going to give chase. On the far side of the field, it's Manning. And Matthew saves the day by running him out of bounds. Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck. <laughs> you couldn't juke him in? Number 93, Adewale Ogunlier, found out that Matt Hasselbeck is quicker and younger than he thought. It looks 50. He's not 50. Just the ball, no, the ball head. You think it's 50. He's not. The Bears completely dominated Seattle. Thomas Jones ran for almost 100 yards and two touchdowns, while Rex Grossman added two scores through the air. Sets, now throws, end zone, open, touchdown! Moussin Mohamed, bears up the ball. Going deep, going for variant, over the shoulder, end zone, touchdown! Touchdown there! We ain't done nothing yet. We ain't done nothing. Ain't done nothing. Got a long way to go. Don't get your belly full. That's a great job, baby. It's said when confronted with a bear, you should play dead. But the Seahawks were already lifeless. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Seattle blew out the Giants. But last week, the tables were turned.
The Chicago Bears are going to the Super Bowl. It's the best defense in the NFL in the history of this league. Oh, wait. It's week six. The hype machine broke down in Arizona, sabotaged by Matt Leinert's two early touchdowns. Leinert's success contrasted with Rex Grossman's failures, but the Cardinals still only managed to score 13 points off Grossman's six turnovers. Hitting the ball's out. He got sacked and the ball is loose. And it's quite the ball. Barry did it all on that play. Late in the third quarter, down 23-3, Mark Anderson found the door wide open for a Chicago comeback. Hit from behind, Mark ball, Anderson. Ball. ball is bouncing around. Picked up on one hop. We got a touchdown, Chicago. Touchdown, Mike Brown. And the defense comes up with the play they absolutely had to have. With 36 rushes and only 55 yards, Edger and James had the most carries for the fewest yards ever in an NFL game. His fourth quarter fumble helped Chicago's defense score again. And less than two minutes later, the Bears scored a third touchdown without their struggling offense. Looping inside, he's got room 30. 35 40. 45 to the outside midfield. 45 40. For the putter to beat. Whitney City Flyer. Touchdown! Touchdown, Bears! You better believe it. Your Bears have taken the lead, 24-23. Devin Hester's feed erased what was left of Arizona's 20-point lead. But Leinert led one more drive, giving his team a chance to salvage the upset with a 40-yard Neil Rackers field goal attempt with one second remaining. Rackers kick is up. It has the lead. Rackers kick is no good. Unbelievable. Never, ever seen anything like it. An extraordinary loss left the Cardinals with an all-too-familiar feeling. Eager to bounce back after their week off, the Bears blitzed the 49ers with a team record 24 points in the first quarter. Thomas Jones circling to the right. He's got open space. Angles for the end zone at the five. Goal line touchdown. Thomas Jones. The new monsters of the midway bullied their guest into three early turnovers, eventually converting each of them into touchdowns. Passes. Oh, ball. ball is given up. It ball was popped out of there. Ricky Manning swipes it at the 30-yard line. Quarterback Rex Grossman rebounded from his worst NFL performance with one of his best as Chicago improved its record to 7 and 0. Right over the middle, touchdown! Touchdown Bears! Third touchdown tossed by Rex, second to Desmond Clark. This is an orange crush right here. Pigeon is another term for an easy target. But the 1-6 and six Dolphins defied definition and shot down the undefeated Bears. Ronnie Brown's 157 rushing yards were a career high. But it was Chicago's six turnovers that kept the Dolphins comfortably ahead. wasn't Miami's only trick. Thanks to takeaways in Bears territory, the Dolphins needed only 42 yards on three touchdown drives. Touchdown, Chambers! The Pigeons emerged as victors, ruining dreams of a perfect season in Chicago. The soldiers from Soldier Field marched into New York for the second straight week. This time they faced the Jets, and everyone was in the line of fire. The quarterback 
is doing it, looking at me. Don't worry about that. He's got to he's chase the football. Who cares? If he runs, he's not going okay, anywhere. Just chase the football. Hey, we're getting close on the takeaway. Keep getting it out, fellas. Keep going, okay? It's the way to go. Keep going, okay? Next call, flank right, change, flip. Three case right, Reebok raise. Turnover, BD. Let's go now. Two New York turnovers. Picked up in the end zone by Erlacher. Help make it a scoreless first half. 20, 25 on his feet at the 30. And brought down. Oh, my goodness. His 10th overall career interception, including the playoffs. Wow. That's an excellent job. Big freaking play right there, baby. Jets head coach Eric Mangini called for a surprise salvo to try and boost his team's fortunes. The Jets start the second half with a surprise onside kick, and it's recovered at midfield by the Bears. After Chicago took over, Thomas Jones carried the ball on seven straight plays, single-handedly setting up the Bears to take a 3-0 lead. The Bears slipped away thanks to a New York slip-up. Snaps to Grossman, throw onto the right side. Pass is caught by Bradley in midfield. He's on his way at the 40, 35, 30, foot race 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Bears! Mark Bradley working on the rookie, Drew Coleman. And the open field tackle missed by Coleman. Inside a route by Bradley and no safety. You pray for that right there, bro. Oh, yeah. You hit you, turn around, and there's no one there? So you had a linebacker chasing you. Yeah, Brent. So if you would have got caught, I, mean, I saw him on the jumbo. I saw him on the jumbo. Did it? The Jets couldn't conquer Chicago. And once again, the Big Apple belonged to the squad from the second city. Woo! offenses played below their usual levels. The first six drives led to a punt, a blocked field goal, two fumbles, and a pair of interceptions. What a weird play. Ball is up in the air and intercepted. What an interception. Chicago and New England combined for nine turnovers. I'll tell you what, I've never seen a game like this in a long time. Get away, baby. That's a good job. Good job, man. Don't get discouraged. It's going to be that one opportunity that's going to pop up. Let's make sure we're in position to make this play. Tom Brady and the Patriots eventually seized opportunities. The give us to Maroney to the right, and he's in. The lead wouldn't last. The Bears blew holes in the Patriots' defense as Chicago ran for over 150 bruising yards. Hey, good. Run it up the gun. I don't know how this movie you play, though. My bad slot. Get to the Cowboy. See Stutter up. Snap to Rex, giving left. Cedric Benson, goal line. End zone. Touchdown. You're getting the business, and I'll just... That's got to be able to run right at him just like that because they two gap it. Football is the ultimate team sport, but a crucial third down in the fourth quarter was decided man versus man. Brady then gave his team the lead. Brady, end zone. 
Rex Grossman had been pressured, picked off, and picked on by the Patriots. But the Bears only trailed 17 to 13 with less than two minutes remaining. First down and 10, Chicago at the long 22. Back to throw. The rush fires it long and deep and intercepted by Asante Samuel. His third interception of the game. That will be yeah. all she wrote. Patriots win it. It was a frigid day at Soldier Field last Sunday with a wind chill in the single digits. But red hot rookie Devin Hester burned right through the Vikings. He's taken up the hop by Hester. All Vikings to the right side. Goes back to the left. Breaks a tackle up the middle. 40, 35, 30. The Bears' heat didn't stop Chester Taylor's feet. He rushed for 99 yards and eclipsed the 1,000-yard mark for the season. Chicago stopped the run. And the Vikings couldn't throw. Let's Lance Briggs got Johnson and got rid of the ball. Threw it to Earl at the 35. Ho-ho! Keep hunting. Keep hunting. It's going to take that kind of effort today. Rex Grossman proved easy prey, throwing three interceptions. Rousing visions of Butkus and Singletary, today's monsters of the Midway earned an old school defensive victory. Championship. Great job. Give it up for the Bears. Yeah. Defense takeaways. This is a takeaway game. Outstanding job. We're just getting started. Champs on three. Yes, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes. Some Chicago fans are looking off in the distance, but for now, Rex Grossman remains at the forefront of the Bears offense. Against the Rams, number eight looked to prove he could lead an attack that complements Chicago's physical defense. St. Louis moved the ball by finding mismatches, such as Torrey Holt against rookie cornerback Devin Hester, number 23. Touchdown, Torrey Holt. He was working on Devin Hester with the pump fakes. The rookie out of Miami trying to defend a Pro Bowl wide receiver in Torrey Holt. The rookie bounced back quickly and tied an NFL record with his fifth touchdown return of the season.
touchdown. He answers within seconds. The Rams couldn't find an answer for Hester, as the elusive return man was once again off to the races. Right now, angling to the middle at the 20, hits the gas, 25, 30, 35, 40, forget it! Nobody's gonna get him! Long gone, Devin <laughs> Hester, you are ridiculous! 10, 5, dancing to the end zone, touchdown! An NFL record, six return touchdowns for the Windy City Flyer. Nobody touched him. He blew by Wilkins. I mean, go with the onside kick for crying out loud. The team from the Windy City has blown by the NFC with a 9-0 conference record and have now clinched a first round bye in the playoffs. Welcome to As the Pigskin Turns, the soap for dopes. In last week's episode, Rex nearly lost his job to Brian. But Coach stood by his main man. Could Rex repay Lovey's doviness by snapping out of his recent offensive coma? Two TV throws brought Rex back to life. Like sand through an hourglass, so slid young Thomas through the Tampa defense. Restless Cedric nearly sent a buck to General Hospital as the Bears filed for separation on the scoreboard. But Tampa Tim proved he had more than just one life to live, bothering three fourth quarter touchdown passes to tie this baby at 31. But in the dwindling dusk of overtime, Rex shown as Chicago's guiding light completing a 28-yard pass on third down to set up a final life-sustaining field goal try. Snap is back, spot is down, Robbie Gold's kick is up, it is good, and the Bears have won. And they've clinched home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. Now that they have nothing left to play for, will the Bears dog it on Sunday? Tune in this week. The number one pick would bring Lions fans joy next year. But on Christmas Eve, Bears rookie Mark Anderson, this year's 159th pick, brought nothing but pain. Rex Grossman drove the Bears to a 17-7 halftime lead. But Detroit fought temptations to quit, crafting a comeback with old-fashioned Motown hits. John Kinda threw for 283 yards and three touchdowns, earning a rare ovation. attempted a victorious encore, Anderson stole the spotlight. Kitna takes back, pedals to the pocket, in trouble, hit by Mark Anderson, Bears football! And the rookie shining like a veteran again. As I said a year ago here in Detroit, fade to black. Amid rampant speculation concerning his future, Brett Favre just keeps slinging it. His first drive was capped by what may be his last touchdown. Looking downfield, drills the middle of the end zone, Piper, touchdown! Brett Favre right on the money. The Packer defense stopped Chicago cold by putting the game in Rex Grossman's icy hands. Grossman looking that way, throws the clock, intercepted. Nick Collins, right sidelines, he's going all the way. High stepping to the house, touchdown, Green Bay! Two interception returns for scores raised familiar issues for the Bears offense. Questions surround Favre as well, as Green Bay's faithful hope for number four's return. There'll never be another one like him, and I 
No. Sincerely hope we'll see him again next year. Amen. Amen. In the opinion of only quarterback Rex Grossman could prevent the Chicago Bears from advancing to their first NFC title game in 21 seasons. But the Bears are not a one-man team. Grossman, snap, hand off, Jones, five, end zone, touchdown! Touchdown Bears! Went right down Broadway, baby. Main Street opened up. An impressive opening drive to the divisional playoffs. Yes, sir, baby! Third and ten. Matthew gets rid of it. The ball's almost picked off, but it's caught by Daryl Jackson, who nearly gets to the sticks for a first down, and the ball bouncing off the cornerback, Charles Tillman. Ah! The ball is my friend. The ball is my friend. Third and four. Matt's going to throw. Here comes a blitz from the outside. He's got time. Down in the middle of the field. He's got Burleson, who reaches across. Touchdown, Seahawks! And that's how you answer on the road. You come back with a nice touchdown drive. Matt Hasselbeck leading the way there. Great effort by Nate Burleson. Playoff time! Playoff time! Chicago responded with one big play. Grossman takes, play fake to Benson. Sets, has time, arches back, looking down the middle for Marion. Over the shoulder, 20, 10, 5, goes, touchdown! Touchdown! Touchdown, Bears, 68 yards. Bernard Marion's been a big play receiver for this team all year long, and he comes through with another one. They ain't really nothing we ain't seen. Right. They ain't got the three plays. Okay, we just got to stop those. Midway through period two, Grossman looked like the critics' whipping boy. Getting to him is Peterson. The ball is on the ground. The Seahawks are diving for it. Darby is there. The Seahawks have the ball. Sean Alexander ran for the first of his two touchdowns. Sean gets it, bounces outside, now back inside. Sean Alexander, touchdown Seahawks. Once again, Sean Alexander, you can tell he's feeling good today. He's running hard, has run out of tackles. Keep it going, man. You doing all right? Don't hang in there. Here we go. Hey, let's go, D! Snap to Grossman, handing off. Thomas Jones, following his man. End zone! Right side, touchdown! Touchdown, Thomas Jones! Who threw the blocks there? You asked me what we you do, and I said I would go to the inside of the offensive line and follow Jason McKee and at least get you the one yard, but hopefully get you in the end zone. And that's what they did. They ran over the top of the undersized defensive front. They've taken the lead for a third time today. That's our momentum. You get that momentum into the halftime. It carries you a lot through that half. The halftime adjustments that need to be made. Wide right deep. The third quarter began with Grossman under assault. Grossman can't get away. Rocky Burley's got him. Grossman's going to go down again. A great job by the Seahawks rushing only three. The rim of the run. He's a speed guy. Got to make sure to stay outside. While Chicago went scoreless in the period, the determined Seahawks took the lead. down to the Seahawks at the 13. A delayed handoff to Sean. He goes up the middle. Touchdown, Seahawks! What a great call by Mike Holman. Let's go! You went up the middle. Let's go! What you talking about? The Bears botched their response. Hester to our right at his 45 from his own end zone about five yards deep. Plackemeyer sends up a bomb. Hester's going to have to back up and negotiate this one. Drops it, picks it up. Inside his own 35, makes a man miss. Goes up the right sideline. Here we go to the 40, to the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. End zone. Touchdown, Bucks. Marker down inside the 40. Maybe they say he stepped out of bounds. No, there's going to be a legal block in the back uh, about the 39-yard line on the Seattle sidelines. Third down and 10. Shotgun snap to Hasselbeck. Has got all day to patrol. Now here comes Tate Jackson. And down goes Hasselbeck. In the final quarter, Matt Hasselbeck's terrible decision kept the Bears in the game. 24-21 Seattle. This for the tie. Kick is up by Robbie Gold. End over end to the uprights, and it is good! As the Bears tie the game with 4.24 left to play. We break this huddle. Let's get them fans into it, baby. Feed up that enthusiasm.
see who's going to take on the New Orleans Saints. Keep fighting, baby. Keep fighting. Mason Muhammad is wide to the right side on third and ten. Snap to Gross. Back to throw. Tight pocket. Down the seam over the shoulder. Rasheed Davis inside the yard. Rasheed Davis, the little guy, coming up with big plays on third down. The right-hand side of the offensive line. Olu Cruz ended up with Fred Miller's man. Fred Miller ended up with the end man on the line of scrimmage. And Roberto had the man in, in between both of Olin and Fred Miller. Good job by those three on the right-hand side. The only opening in the Seahawks defense was right down the seam. And Rasheed Davis makes the catch. The defending NFC champs were suddenly facing playoff elimination. Slight angle to the right. Snap is down. Kick by Robbie Gold. End over end to the uprights. And it's good! Robbie Gold! Robbie Gold is good again! The Bears have won the NFC Division of Playoff Game! Yeah, baby! Ah! New Orleans, come to Chicago, baby. We'll be waiting for you. Man, this is a team of destiny is what this is. All right? We're going to hit the practice field next week and tighten up a couple of things and then get ready to to play the Saints coming up right now. Thomas Jones, break us down. Go, 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 go. All right, Light snow early today. This backdrop uniquely Chicago. When you can see your breath in the air here in mid-January, game time temperature in the low 20s. The Monsters of the Midway and America's sweetheart Cinderella Saints, the championship of the National Football Conference at stake. Completions for Drew Brees to five different Saints. Empty backfield, blitz by Ricky Manning Jr. Thrown by Brees to Colston, out of a tackle. In crossing midfield, the ball stripped out. It's bouncing around and picked up by Vasher. At the 45 of the Bears, to the 40. Bears football! At around the 36-yard line, the first turnover of the day. They stripped the rookie, Colston. I seen it because I'm finna get ready to get in there. I seen that thing losing it out. I was like, ooh. Jones back in there, averaging 8.1 a carry. Nine for 73. Out of the eye. Snap to Grossman. Handing off. Thomas Jones. End zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bears. And in the south end zone, the fans are going bananas. 16 0. and 10 from the 13. Here's Breeze dropping, throwing, caught by Colston, touchdown! Very much a confidence-building drive for the Saints as they get on the scoreboard on the 13-yard strike. Breeze to Colston with 46 seconds remaining. I tell you what, the Saints showed a lot of moxie right there. Nobody said it was going to be easy now. Hey, we're close. It's good now. Saints offense. Breeze to throw. He's going to throw it downfield for Bush. Wide open 30, 40, putting a move midfield. Can anybody catch Bush? He's the fastest guy on the field, and nobody will. 20, 15, 10, 5, bye bye, baby. And there's a flirt a leap into the end zone to cap it off after 88 yards. And with 12 20 to play here in the third quarter, the lead is now 16 to 14. Bears. Second and 
ten from their five. Snap to Breeze, play fake coming free on a blitz. Briggs has to make him throw the ball incomplete. Safety potentially throwing from his own end zone, about to get set. The marker comes out. Safety. And Drew Brees, who has made so many wonderful decisions this season, makes a poor one here in throwing the football away with no one in the area while still in the pocket. We got to score with this man. We need the money that falls, not the college income. Mohammed to the right in motion. Backs are in the eye. Barry and left. Up tight Thomas. Snap to Grossman. Sets the throw. Late pressure. Hit by Hollis Thomas. Throws down the left side. Oh! And Barry inside the five. Go on. Touchdown. Absolutely an incredible catch by Bernard Berrien. The Bears extend their lead to 25 to 14. They're going to start trying to force it in there, man. I'm telling you. No, he's coming to you every time. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go no huddle. The slot Reggie Bush to the right. Five receivers. Shotgun snap to Breeze. Has all kinds of time. Sets to throw. Down the near side. Fisher going for it. Did he take it away? Yes, he did. That's me. I got it. Yes, he did. Saints. Another nice job of just focusing on the flight of the football. The offensive line wanted it on their back when the playoffs started. They've got it on their back right now, trying to finish the deal. 32-14, Bears the lead in the ball at the Saints 15. 4.30 to play. Snap to Grossman. Stretch the hand off to Jones. Throws it in reverse. Looking for blocking help. Running left. Cuts inside the 10. Oh. The 5. End zone. Touchdown Bears. Congratulations to the Chicago Bears and congratulations to the New Orleans Saints. A season that no one ever saw coming takes them one victory short of the Super Bowl. Bear fans, your dream is reality. Begin the migration to Miami and Super Bowl 41. We didn't talk about winning the NFC Championship. We talked about what? We talked about, we talked about winning the World Championship. And now we get an opportunity to do that. Let's enjoy this, yes, all right? Enjoy Let's enjoy this effort, and then we'll get ready to do it again. Yes, sir. Let's get one good breakdown. Let's go champs on three dance clock, and let's get out of here. Woo! Woo! Champs on three. One, two, three. Champs. Champs.